were Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons similar enough to want to mate? And even if they did, were their genes similar enough for a child to be the result? We'll probably never know. One tantalizing piece of scientific evidence keeps us guessing. In 1998, in Portugal's Lapido Valley, archaeologists unearthed the remains of a four-year-old child. Its body had been stained with red ochre and buried in a shallow pit. Deer teeth and a pierced shell were found close to the child's body. Small front teeth and the pointed chin seemed to confirm that this was a Cro-Magnon child. But the rest of the skeleton tells a different story. The limbs were short and strong, like those of a Neanderthal. Yet the Lapido child died about 3,000 years after Neanderthals are believed to have become extinct. Could this child be a hybrid, half Cro-Magnon and half Neanderthal? Scientists are still undecided. For now, the possibility remains that Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons were similar enough to reproduce. But even so, it appears that this didn't alter the Neanderthal's fate. So far, DNA testing has failed to find any trace of Neanderthal genes in existing modern humans. <laughs> 